Good afternoon. This presentation is on transforming Morehouse College's ETL system. The extract transform load or ETL system is uh, of greater importance. This system is utilized to uh, collect data from our data sources and move them on to the staging area. If you have a staging area where they can be transformed and prepared to uh, move along into the data warehouse. Once in the data warehouse, um, this data becomes available for the end users. The current DW or data warehouse uh, business intelligence environment at Morehouse College is already set up. Currently, they uh, have a system structured around the common data set requirements. Uh, this is a set of requirements um, for our institutes of higher education to uh, for reporting standards. Also, they utilize the National Student Clearinghouse um, Partnership um, to collect enrollment data. All students um, perform their enrollment through the National Student Clearinghouse. Um, the potential environment that um, I believe can be created is to combine the current data with um, detailed localized student data. Also, um, to help establish consensus on uniform definitions and business rules to manage master data. So the recommendation is for um, an ETL modeling tool to be utilized. This will provide self-documentation, a foundation for metadata, advanced transformation logic, and reduce the expertise level requirement for those individuals to utilize this system. Uh, the solution I chose, uh, or that I think would be best for Morehouse, is Idera's ER Studio Enterprise Team Edition. Um, with this system, you can design new databases, understand and consolidate databases, migrate databases to new technologies, understand and design data warehouses, and govern the data. Also, it's recommended to utilize a profiling tool, and for this, I um, chose IDERA's DB Optimizer. Um, this optimizer will provide insights from wait time analysis, um, database profiling, pr predicate uh, analysis, and help explain plans. For our situation, I believe data virtualization um, would be uh, necessary to utilize. As you can see from the diagram, here we have uh, our sources, source systems at the bottom where our ETL server pulls from and transfers the data into our data warehouses and data warehouse and data marts. Um, here you can see that there's a virtualization layer on top of the data warehouse and data marts that um, feed into the end users reporting tools, BI tools, dashboards, et cetera. Um, utilizing data virtualization, um, you will be able to create virtual data, data marts instead of physical data marks, which will uh, reduce the time needed programming and save on costs. Also uh, utilizing data virtualization um, provides rapid data warehouse prototyping, meaning that if you want to adjust your, your warehouse, you are able to see the results first using data virtualization um, versus making the changes permanent before knowing the, what the results would be. Last is data governance. Um, data governance is basically creating uniformity across the organization. Um, in order to do this, you must reach an agreement on data definitions, labels, and domain values. Um, data government, governance establishes policies and responsibilities for quality and accuracy, as well as data security and access controls. Data governance will be organized and maintained through the institutional research department. Uh, this department uh, historically is utilized in institutes of higher learning to make sure um, the organization is moving in the right direction. Also, it's the least biased department on campus being that it 
has no um, no specific uh, research topics. All right, thank you.